There they are. Nate uh, patiently just started before we started the live. But here we are. Let me go ahead and switch it around to them. All right, so what we are doing here, this is a, what is it? 640 LX Nitro, super old school, 1990s, one of the initial bass boats out there. And we did a short series and then quit because um, we didn't really know what to do with it, whether or not we were gonna do custom lids or just take the stock lids, which are here. You see they're pretty tore up from all the grinding and all the old carpet glue. We were thinking about just recarpeting it, but everybody has done that. Nobody has really done this yet. What's going on, Dominic and Damian Howard? So nobody's actually done this before, but we waited and put this off for so long because these lids were kind of custom made by our shop. Out there, what's going on, Calvin? How are you? So these lids arrived right before my crew done. They've been here with me the whole week, kind of hanging out and chilling. And... Uh, it's a little, a little bit loud. We got the boat hanging out in the front, so pay no attention to the oncoming traffic. So what are you guys doing here? Talk to me a little bit about this. They found center, and we marked some lines, and we're measuring out to figure out where is a good spot for us to do a turf break and how to use our material the wisest to get the most out of it. Do you want to show them the lines? Um, yeah, so on this boat, this is center. Now there is a, there's a stringer in here. So they offset this seat base just a little bit. So it didn't have to go through the stringer. So nobody give this boat any hate when it's all said and done and you see a line that's off center of that because it is straight. He just measured out where these lines would fall and figured out that this is where he wants to do the break. Okay. I did get um, video of us installing the lids. So that'll just be coming in the main video. But uh, for for the moment here, yeah, for the moment here, um, we just had it all done just so we could actually do this turf live. Otherwise, we'd be here for hours streaming this live. Just, just hold it. And so, you want to hold this? Yeah. I'm gonna cut the worst of that off of there. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Now Nate and Anthony are taking on this this uh, hydroturf wood teak, and if they do it correctly, it'll look really good on this green. And I'm so glad that I don't have to do this. <laughs> I just want to put that out there personally. Are you on the line, Anthony? Yeah, I'm on the line. All right, guys, give us a like. 29 the live. I know it's a little early for generally when we do lives, but if you can give us a if you can give us a, a few likes, we can get this live stream going. It always helps to uh, improve the quality of the live. What's going on, Robert? How are you? My last turf job, I might have like, you know, struggled through it, but it came out all right. Let me show you what my last turf job, what y'all are hating on. Look, check this thing out. That is it. We actually light tested this boat. It came out pretty dope. We finished it. And if I can do with that, anybody can do it. So, but it's good just to kind of see people who do this constantly do it now. What they're doing right now is they're doing a bunch of rough cuts. Is that correct? Yeah. We're just... You're just rough cutting it so you can kind of basically rough template. Okay. Yeah, we'll just keep trimming. It looks pretty good. Give it back, cuz. No, just give me like a foot. There we go, there we go. Took off a foot. The good thing without taking that, just that one foot stripping out the whole thing is you have room to play it without the rest of the turf kind of sticking to the deck. Because you might need to move and adjust and move and readjust. It's right on that line. Yes, it is. Now bear in mind, it, the hatch is going this way and the other one is going that way. So there will be an odd sequence to how these are laid in, but um, they 
There it is. Oh no, get that out of there. Just throw it in there. I'll just unplug it. Will it stick in there? I'll pull these stupid things out. Oh. Here, check this out. Pull that cord. There that goes. Thing's useless anyways. Put that in a compartment. So I'm gonna be doing this live and I'm also gonna be recording this on another camera as, because. So it's really important to kind of bunch it up as much as you can with your fingers. Sometimes you use a painter's tool to kind of bunch it in there, but obviously this turf is a little, the teak turf, you can actually scratch it. You can believe that. So you can, you can have to be a little bit more delicate with this stuff than you can, than you have to be with the other stuff. And we also have this, this weird edge. See these weird edges? It makes, it makes um, the whole turfing, I mean, generally when you're doing with the, the aluminum boats, it's all a bunch of symmetrical lines, it's really easy. But because it's got these weird edges, you gotta really kind of look at it. Give yourself areas to see it. Yeah, right in that edge. You know, right, right now you see this funky little lip like some of the molding from the bass boat. We actually use gator skins, non-skid, um, as a backer. So the turf is just gonna perfectly lay cut on. That was a perfect cut by Anthony. That was pretty good, cuz. That was good. You got a cuz. <laughs> it was a really good cut. You should have seen it, it was pro. Like one straight slice, very quickly done. This is Anthony from Brigade Boats out of Georgia. You guys know who he is, right? Give a like for Anthony. How do we only, hold on guys. Here guys, we only got 29 to live. Give us 29 likes or 30. No, I've come all the way from Illinois. I know you guys, these guys are here from across the country. Because they wanted to see us turf a boat. That was right, you guys, all that complaining when I turf this boat. I read your comments, by the way. I couldn't see them when I was like had that up there in the garage, but, but, I don't read all your comments. So that here, I brought pros down here. You better like this video or this live. Press the like button. What's going on, Sean? How are you? Yeah. All right. Not too shabby. Thanks for asking. <sighs> Siri. <laughs> all right. Right. Hold on. That wasn't me. That was. All right. Here we go. All here crucial. They are also doing this with not their favorite knives. The Hopper Freight knives I like, they hate. So they're still pushing through it. Had I have known, I would have wouldn't bought them knives. Dang, it looks good. Look at that. Boss! That looks fantastic. Look at that. Dude, that looks so good. I'm so glad I procrastinated and didn't do anything on this. <laughs> I could have done this boat like so long ago, just recarpeted the whole deck, but then we couldn't show you what to do here. No. Hey, you know who taught him how to turf? Who taught who how to turf? Me. You try to take credit for everything. I went to uh Whatever. He learned how to turf in my shop. I got certified. You got certified? Yep. Is there a certificate? Yeah. Why don't I have this certificate? Because you haven't got certified yet. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> there goes my demon my monetization. What do you do this lid? By the way, guys, I turf this Shut boat. This piece. And I turf this boat. Are you you're gonna just and if right I had to, I would turf this boat. But we need an edge to go put the But it just was it is what it is. It is <laughs> It is what it is, guys. Okay, what are you doing here? Let's see this. Check this out. Check this out. 
All right, so he's using the... That's a carpet tool, huh? You need a screwdriver or a painter's tool? Mm -mm. I found this in the cupboard and I kind of like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do have every tool known to man in there. So. I'm only one person and need multiple tools to compensate. Hey, uh, what's up? Can you hand me... Walk over there and start putting your hands on stuff. What? Hey, 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 that... No, 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 by the pipe. I need that... No, next one. This so is Vo? Flat, flat. I need something flat and straight. Is that straight? No, here, 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 hold on. Yeah, really like of, uh... Here. Catch a piece of angle there. Good. Hey. All right. This whole holding two foe thing is failing. Oh, I'm gonna figure out something else here. Sorry for the shaking, guys. I'm gonna stop this in a second. Just give me a second. Let me let me figure this out. I think I got it. Is that better? I could do this. Well, that's money right there. Yeah, it's two rigs. That's running it. That is money. Look at that. You guys can't see this. But I'm recording with two phones on a bootleg rig. I just slapped together right now. Real quick, real quick. Hey, Nick's, Nick's messaging us on the group chat. Sweet. Tell him I got the stakes out anyways, just in case you want. I did get them out to unthaw. His phone died. Yeah, I know. I can tell. Makes me feel a little better. I thought he was ignoring me. Now that's pretty good. When you need that straight cut. There it is. Dude, this is coming out pretty nice. You guys are all worried. Look at it. Looks pretty good to you. Using the carpet tool for turf. Sweet. Hey, you got uh, you got some like a set of hole saws? Yeah, I do. Here, hole saws right here. <laughs> this color looks really good. That hinge. Oh, I think fell over. Okay, that's fair. Alright, he's about to cut the trolling motor um, opening, the, the pedal tray opening. We just felt for that groove right in there. And then once you know where the groove is, well, that's not it. Well, somebody gave me the wrong one. Nate's been here for five days. And this was his idea. I wasn't going to put them on anything. They had no boat duty at all. I told him I would do it. There no obligation. This is for Damien and Dominic. Oh, they wanted you to come down here? Look, Damien and Dominic. I need to turf a boat while I'm here. Oh. Okay, so he's using this and he's pushing it into the turf to template it because that's the exact same size 
of the pedestal mount, uh, the opening. And he's got it completely surrounding that area, so now he's just going to use it to cut it around. This knife sucks. <laughs> you get that fast back, man. We do have a fastback, but now the thicker blades, they get stuck in the glue. Oh. Yeah, you just snap like them the, every couple cuts. I like the Ulfa ones. The 18 millimeters. The black blades. Yes. Oh, okay. So here, let me get. I didn't know they had those blades. Look at. Okay. Edges of soldering iron. I wouldn't fray too much with it. Boom. That'll be good. It'll be imprinted the minute the pedestal's on it. It'll just sink in there like that. It's flush. Looks very good. Not to cut this one. Yeah, don't cut that. We'll just wait till you're done there. Well, then you're on that one, so. We'll start the back there if you want. We gotta get another piece of turf. Make sure when you hold off. You wanna hold this first? The end that's in the gate. Wanna be, like, sure be the live holder? We can all kind of three work in. Oh, perfect, yeah. yeah. The, the end that's facing the gate, Mike, is the end that needs to go to the front of the boat. There's one or two more in that drawer. Hey, you got more of these or you just replace okay, the blades? I have, I have more. I like, yeah, I go get more. There's one or two in that third. Take the third drawer down, Anthony. Practice facing. You guys need to remember, um, it's hey, specifically. Hey. Right. What, no, 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 I'm just asking him. Which end? Do you have the, that on that end or this yes. on that end? That it goes this okay. way. Yeah, so that, he told yeah. me the, face, the way the it was facing the gate. Face you have forward. to have it all facing the same way no. or it will clash. This is the way the tinks cut. Can you freehand that and leave the black stripe? And then the black stripe should start. Yeah, I can. Where, how close are we to that line? Black stripe should start on that line. Yeah, on the center one? Negative. On this one? Yeah, you need to come back two inches. Because you're going to cut that off. It's going to be short because we're losing so much. Come back one line. Come back to that mark right there. All right? Which mark? Okay. Just yeah. use a straight edge, yep. Come back that far and wouldn't fall out over here. Hey, hand me that angle. Uh, a marker. You got a marker in the dirt? Like, no. Hey, Nick, there's a bunch of markers right there in the middle. Come, right, hey, I got one in my pocket. Let me take my markers. Hey, Nate. Uh, yeah. 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 No. If there's nothing in the middle. There's some in the middle. There's the middle thing here. There's some in there. Right there. Right, right down there. Yeah, we got a hell of a camera. 
I know. This is, this is working out great. Can I see the... Okay, give her a little bit. Come over here real quick. I can, I can take this one and you can go ahead and use this one. That way I can, I can stop this one for her, her, like personal stuff. I think Anthony got this pretty clean over here. He did. There's some bitches sticking now. Somebody said the turf is baller. It looked pretty good, this teak turf is, I've never seen it before. It's the first time I actually ever even unboxed it for this live. It does look great. This wood looks fantastic. The turf looks the same both ways. How do you tell what side is right? If you if you put it in the light, face me real quick. If you put it in the light, well, no, on the, the sunlight, or can. in this light, you can see it looks different. The shadow will, will gleam to the left or the right, and that's how you know which way to line it up. On, no, on the sheet, that corner's cut. They also make it easy this, for you to remember. On this, on this end, okay. it's not. It's, yeah, it is. And then what I, what I do is, do they just, I, they, I just they mark do all, all the my sheets? stuff on the, on the back side before I do an install. Usually there's a fuzzy on one end. Yeah, and really? Okay. Yeah. I thought all, all EVA foam sheets are created equal, but hydro turf, I guess, does these things. When in doubt, yeah. mark it all how it comes out of the box, because usually they roll them up the way that they come off the stack. So don't take them out and throw them all around the yard. Get them out of the box and mark them as you take them out, and then you should be good. Sweet. There you go. I'll hold this. Thank you, Vo, for being the cameraman. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh. You're really struggling over there. What's going on? No. I mean, you've been at that corner for a while. Yeah, let's see what Nate's doing over it's here. Only, it's only four feet long. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because I'm freehanded like a boss. Yes, in the middle. Okay, we're cutting out the short end. That way we can start with a full clean thick strip. If you see, if you notice the last little strip there, it's a little bit skinnier than all the other individual wood, wood strips and it's also rounded so unless you have a plan to use that go ahead and cut it off I think that's what we're getting at at least for your first I need to go that way how big are these sheets 46 by 86. There it is. 46 by, by 86. You, up, you may only have 43. What's the thickness of this stuff, you know? Quarter mm. inch. Quarter inch, there Six it is. Yeah, this gray's gonna look sick. Gray's the only color you could really use with this nasty flake green nonsense. Right. And it be okay. Maybe Anthony was saying that wood that the wood oh, teeth yeah, color I that would it probably would have looked all right. Yeah, that would have been the only other color. The mocha might have looked all right. Hundred percent. 
Somebody asked if you put boards under this thing when you cut it so you don't scratch stuff up. Um, I don't care. No. It's not my boat. He says that, but this guy's professional, so. Now, um, the term no, is going to cover anything. You normal, normally at my house, um, when I do one of these, I do. I like to use either a thin piece of like plastic uh, sheet. Like I've used um, OSB. OSB board works real good. Hell, I've even cut it directly on the concrete. You just destroy your blades um i'm doing it right here and i'm making sure i stay on this lid because we're about to cover it so yeah and this is a nice smooth surface for me okay. well, there you go the only the only part you're going to show the only part you're going to see on this lid is the outer edge the vertical wall so that's it anything else on top if you get a cut trying to line this up it don't matter All right, make sure you like the video. Yes, please. If there are more people in that live than likes, there's a problem, gentlemen. Sometimes you got to back up the chat to find the like button and come back into it. And that's how you do that. A lot of people um, you probably don't see the like button, but if you get out of the chat, you'll see it. And just re-enter the chat and hang out. Damien wants to know how many sheets does it take? Boys, he's going to have... Probably four, four to five on a, this 16-foot boat. There you go, Damon. Four to five for your 16-foot boat. Right next to the power strip on the left, on the wall. Power strip. On the pegboard. Left. On the pegboard. It says Quinn. So much shit in here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna fix it once you guys leave. Anthony's taking a Topo Chico break. Well deserved. Hey, when you go to cut that lead, let me know so I can get it. All right. Mm -hmm. Trying to doctor all these. In. See how do I how do I check the comments in here? We got you just gotta press. We got some questions. Scroll, oh, and you can ask them out to us, and we'll just read them out. All right, somebody says, I want to know what you do when your horizontal surfaces meet the, the vertical surfaces. Stop it or wrap it around and down the vertical? Depends. I like to bump both pieces together first. Depends on the situation. Depends on the... Uh, is this rounded? Is this a 90? I don't, I don't like to put a piece here and then bring this over and stop because then you see a cut edge. We had no, no choice here because you're not going to be able to wrap this and get this little piece to stick. Now, if this was going all the way to the bottom, I would just roll this over and run it all the way down. Why did you up With the 
Okay. Is it? No. You're not going off the seat base. The lines look good. Yeah, they look all right. Yeah. Run the fishing string out from here. It's not running. It's not straight. Is it? It's straight. It looks pretty it, good. We dude. straight lined it. It is slightly off. He's we, right. We spread a string from front to back. Well, it's good over a half inch. Like a half inch. Dude, hold on. Before you move anything, hold no, on. Where's I'm that not, string I'm at? Not. I just want to see something. Mike? What? Where's the string at? You're not going to fall center on the seat base, Anthony. Hello? You're going to fall on a line. Yes. Here. Because this one's not. This Where one's off. That? that was the whole problem. I was trying to put the center on a line. This one fell in between. What's that? Okay, we're gonna. This is actually your center line right here. Oh we, no no no! So you're gonna fall it. on. So. Yes, sir. We marked earlier with Sharpie. Thank you. Bob. Just so we can make sure that when we line from oh, the front to the back. Oh, No, the the string is center. The string is center. Where's your Where's your center mark? Right there. Right there. The string is center of the boat. This seat. Yeah, you're, you're about a half right, inch I'm off. That way. Yeah, you're about a half inch off. Like I said. Yep. Right here. You get us right here. Are you adjusting this? Here, you want to hold that? Because it was helping. Hold that up. Just tighten it. Not necessarily right on the line. The same distance. It no, should not, be like not... a quarter inch into one of these. Yes, it should I got be it. like here. No, just hold it straight on that line because we're just trying to make sure that this is symmetric with, with the fishing line. Okay, I'm not on yeah. the line. All right, Why are you the holding line. it then? This is, I'm holding it center of the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what we want you to do. Okay, this is center of the boat. Okay, I'm holding You're, on, on my center? line. Yeah, that's my, that my, my Sharpie line right there. Okay. You're, You're like a half inch over. Yeah. Pretty close. It's very good. All right. Then that's going to fit right there on that groove. Yeah. Pretty darn good. Can we pull this? Uh, you can. Okay. Hey, everybody, don't forget to drop a like on the video. We need a higher vote. We've been hanging around with Nick. <laughs> does Nick shoot videos? No. He, he does sometimes when we're all together. He, he would run live. He, he would talk a lot, answer questions, and do all those things. Oh, I've, well, so I've never seen him go live at all. Well, he doesn't have to. That's what I'm for. Like, I do all the peasant <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Matt, you really cleaned that very good. I'm surprised. We'll let, we'll, we'll, let, we'll, let, we'll let the edge specialist right. do that edge. Yeah. <laughs> the edge specialist. That sucks. Yeah. All right, Nate. All right, I'm gonna cut this lid. You getting confident? Okay, get get him cutting that lid. It's important. With this shitty knife. Yeah, you can use that as an excuse for it. For it goes <laughs> off. I'm following the hinge, you guys. Where's my phone? I dropped it somewhere. Does anybody see where I did it? Oh, I put it up there. I like the 18 millimeter knives, not the nines. The black bladed ones are way better. These little ones, they flex. No, they don't. It's a lie. It's all good. Boom, there's some light right there. We needed that. Reposition real quick. Doing great, Anthony. Shadow. Pit pressure. 
Yes, Nate did fly into Havasu for this. He's having a blast. That's what I was kidding. Now I'll tell you, installing aluminum lids in this glass boat from the 1980s or whenever, this is, there's a few things we had to do to it. We'll explain to you later in a video, possibly later after this is turfed. We got a comment that says, do you think a self-leveling laser will make it easier to line up your turf? Probably. Uh, probably better yeah. than a fishing line that we use, but <laughs> you got to use what you got. I don't have that crap. This is I do actually. I just never used it. It's a Bosch one. Guys, I'm a send it personality. I just put it down and go. I don't sit and think about it for three days. I just do it. I, I concur. That is that is the way to do it. Don't An don't Anthony don't. wanted to cut templates before we turn the live on. It. Do it and go. We're kind of hinge over here. He's got the one side. All right. Good because you really weren't going to be able to get that stick very good until you cut it. So now we've got one side cut. It does give you leverage to press on the other side and get it even more flush. So Nate did it one way. Nate just went straight, cut both sides. He's doing it one press, the other one press. And it's a very long hinge, gentlemen. This is like a five foot long hinge, right? This is a really big lid. This whole lid is huge. Does alignment matter as much with camo patterns? No. No. <clears throat> Whoa, look at that pill back. What are you doing right here, Anthony? Well, I, I cut the uh, the hinge. I can cut it. I can cut a hatch out. I cut the hinge, and now I'm just pushing this down because obviously your hinge is holding your turf up. Mm -hmm. And when I cut it, I cut it pretty pretty tight. And so what I'm doing now is I'm just wedging this. And if you if you get in close, you'll hear the little squeak. And that's oh, the end yeah. of the turf rubbing up against that hinge. And another thing you do, he's got it, but you could take the, the painter's tool and you could just go down the side of this. I'm just using my fingers. So why is it important that you're tucking this in right here? Are you asking me that or are they asking me that? I'm asking you that. <laughs> Uh, this was this was different, man. On the glass boat, if you look over here, the lid the lid is there's like an inch of overhang right here up against the transom. So you know there's a couple different ways I could have done this. I could have cut this straight um, with some aluminum and then had like a little one inch piece I cut and then put it in later. But the problem there is always lining up your lines, and uh, this is going to give you the tightest fit. If you for me, if I cut over the hinges, I could get the tightest fit possible, and then I know all at once that my, my turf is going to line up perfectly. But it is a little bit riskier because you're doing it in the boat um, over the hinge, while if you're on the ground with a straight edge, it's obviously you're tracing the straight edge. You're, I'm tracing something I can't see. So you're doing it all by, by feel. Mm hmm All right, so we got a question. When the hatch is squared, do you try to land in the middle of the plank or on the edge? What's the plank? What he's saying the groove. It really depends on your layout. You may catch a couple of them perfectly, but then you may have another one that doesn't land right. Does that make sense? Shorten your blade. So much. All right, we got we got a question. Says if if you're going to do the four inch side of hole, 
do you do the deck in one piece or do it in two pieces? You do what? If you're going to do the four inch side of hole. Whoa. Do the what? Oh. If you're going to do the four inch side of hole. The four inch side of hole. Do you do the deck the in one? The hole inside? Okay. What's the question? Do you do the deck in one piece or do it in two? It depends on how wide it is. The sheet's only 46. After you trim it up, you're like 43. So is your deck only 43 inches wide? Then it's one piece. If your deck's wider, it's two. There you go. Any giveaways tonight? I don't know. I don't know how many people's in there liking. Yeah, we ain't gonna give nothing away for no like little pay likes and no. We like we like 50, 60 plus people in this live with 100 likes. There's only two people that win. Yeah, that's Dominic awesome. and Damien. <laughs> There's some other guys that win. They're getting keen on it. Like I said earlier in the video, guys, smash that like button. It depends on how well this live is. If it's not a very well populated live, the live really is contingent on the audience. If I can make this live pop, then, you know, I'm with the audience. Here we go. It's cutting the grooves. <laughs> What is happening in there? I'm gonna shut this door. Sounds like somebody's dying. The blade's full of glue. Paper skins worked out good for though. It did look really good. I was surprised. All right, somebody says, how do you guys choose this turf? Did you just want a challenge? How do we what? How did y'all choose this turf? Did y'all guys just want a challenge? Um, this was donated to me from us. <laughs> Mike <laughs> gave it to himself. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, like, it's from my company, but they... It's a write-off. That's what they had to donate to this project, the company. That's what we got. Or we would have had to pay for it. And I was like, um, this was excess, excess turf. This is an excess turf color that we were using kind of for demos. This is like a demo, demo turf. I think we got it. Yeah, we for got free it. or something. Something happened, but you know, we needed to use it. Plus it's really good. And we don't ever do anything with this stuff. Not this, not this straight wood teak. Not like this, the gray wood teak. It looks really good. I've never actually seen it done. No, I think it looks baller. It looks really good. What's going on, Sean? Yeah, we do think this color looks pretty fantastic with the green. It goes good with money green. Here you go. I mean, this is the biggest one I got. I'm looking for a bigger one. I did, have a, one. I did have a giant one. I think I threw it away. Because I only used it for one job. And that was to... Yeah, it's 
just sick of pissing with the... No, I tried not to cut the beautiful glass on this 1984 Bass Tracker 640 LX. <laughs> Are there major differences turfing fiberglass over aluminum? Yes. When it's aluminum, you can just, I would just slide my knife down inside there nice and carefully, but the glass is so much softer. Than... Yeah, everybody smash that like button. If we want to give away, we're going to have to do 100 likes. At least that's what Mike says. Yep, 100 likes. Mike's giving away fishing trips. It's not true. <laughs> it's too much work. bad position. Yes. Somebody wants to know if we're going fishing after this. No, probably not. That's right. <laughs> no for a dub. I'm going to fucking go to sleep. He's been crabby today. Trying to cheer him up all day. Hey guys, we're gonna have a video coming out of this pretty shortly of the whole process because these lids didn't just show up here in perfect form, drop right into this boat by mistake. There was a process for it. And I'll tell you what, it worked. We're pretty good. So. It was a little tedious, but it was all right. But Robert. If you, if you want to do this from your garage, I mean, you can also bring it down to, to Ada or to our shops. Don't bring them in. Don't bring it to our shops. Uh, but Adub specializes in fiberglass work. But I show you how to do it from, like, they're all the way, they're all the way across the country from me. And I'll show you how to template your boat out like this, if you have a similar boat like this and send those templates to our shop, at which point in time we will get custom lids made. It's a process, it takes a little bit, but you'll get perfect lids. With that being said, yeah. your template's gotta be right. I can only send back what you send me. Yes. Which one, I'm gonna show you how to make them right. I'll make sure. Mike's gonna show you guys. I'll show you guys. This is the first time we did this, right? We haven't talked about it for a while and we finally got it together. And You're gonna go all the way. Oh, okay. This yeah. is gonna come. Yeah. Have me worried. All right. That's good because it helps me. Yep. I'm here to help you. Help me help you. That's our motto. Help me help you. 
Who's got the steadier hand, Anthony or Nate? Uh, I don't know. I taught him everything he knows, so. I, don't know. I counseled him on turf installs over the phone, hour and, upon and, hour and, upon and, hour. And, and, and on hand at a shop. In Illinois. And he come to my shop for a boat. So he's like he's like Nick Saban, and I'm like Kirby Smart. Now when he turps one, he, <laughs> now he turps one, he's like, I think I'm passing the sensei. I think I'm the boss. Problem is, he thinks about it for three days, and I'm already oh done. Oh my god! And it shows him your finished product. Shots fired, gentlemen. Ah, you don't hilarious. hear me complaining about it. Oh! <laughs> Shots fired, gentlemen. No, you done. You done Nate's done. better, okay? <laughs> I didn't say that. You done heard your list of complaints from Nate over time. Trust me. Be good. These guys really love each other. I promise you that they do. Brothers from another mother. That was, that was real funny. Yeah. yeah. That's so nice. I don't have to do any work. I just sit here and film. Oh, no, I mean, the editing is going to suck real bad, but hey. Everybody's going to be like, man. Dang, that was a good cut. Man, man Anthony, you might have had you. Look at that cut. He's I know, dude. He's they called him out on online, and now look at these cuts. Dang. And I did it with a dull, shitty Harbor knife. Harbor Freight Blade. I did so many turf jobs with those knives. It's a personal problem. We can tell to. Don't we put your personal problems on whatever we got here? <laughs> I think we're about out. Uh oh. No, I, I got the ones here on, on the table. Look, right there. Look there. Look. Right there. You're right in the cup holder. This one's looking a little rusty. Boom, look at these cuts. Yeah, they're really good. Do you want my other piece up? You want it? Oh, don't mind that. Oh. I don't know if you want to line that other piece up over there now. I don't know. I'm waiting on my dad. Hold his load. Look at that boss. Boom! Oh, done! Well, that just didn't good. even stop. If you're going to round that one, you got to round all the other ones. Yeah, start doing Which it. Which one? Wow. All of them, I guess. Well, you done messed up because no. you cut it square. I now you want me to go back and gnaw at your quarter? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we do. 100%. Because that... sharp it does dull like a boss mm -hmm. well that's where I had to pick up off of where he left off you know something that takes credit for everything that goes good and not for what goes bad? I didn't say I was perfect. I just said I'm damn close. Alright. I'll burn that to edge. Whatever, whatever. Watch your face. Give us more time. Like... <laughs> anybody close their eyes and then... <laughs> Someone second. What was left off of that, Anthony? Is that enough? Yeah, what do we got here? Enough? Mike, Nate, Sorry. Anthony, Southern Ontario, large mouth. Let's go forward. Just say when. Dude, Robert, email us. Email us and tell us about it. We're all for taking trips. What's he got? We're getting bribed for fishing trips. For fishing trips? In, a, in Ontario. Yeah, not not bribes, offers. I don't know. It's the wrong way, right? No. It's the right way, but... Oh, we got it. I'm gonna get a look for all the guys at the dock, all the old guys. The 20 foot skeeters. Boy, you get that done off. <laughs> My favorite thing is when, like, I took the palm trailer out. 
on this lake. I got I got counseled by an old guy on how dangerous the lake was. That was my personal favorite time. I, if he's off by a strip, he could just put a strip in. That's another good thing about the. You can even do it with this stuff. It's a little harder the cut groove, but you can still do it with this one. Cut out individual strips that's damaged and stick one strip right in. You can't do that. Ready, guys? Go right here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Is there is there a trick to butt up two edges like that? What? What's the trick to button up two edges? Well, the first thing is when you. When you make your cut, like if you notice we had the black that we had cut along on the original piece, we had left the black, and on the second piece, Nate cut the black off so we can make a joint. Mm. That, that means the, that's the first step to make that the smoothest way possible, or to make your job the smoothest way possible, is to make those cuts, make sure they're good. We freehand, but we've done this a few times. And yeah. then when you're putting it in, if you could see, I was trying to squeeze it as tight as I can get it. Sometimes I'll actually overlap it a little bit and come back and then squeeze it in there because what needs to happen is you need to get as tight as you can because this stuff's going to shrink just a little bit when it gets out in the sun. And if you don't get it super tight, then yep. it'll gap up on you. So just get as tight as you can. There, there is an art to the freehand. Yeah, there's an art. It's a feel thing. So yes. You know? It takes a little bit to get used to. None of us uh, just start cutting this stuff. This cut was a little crooked back here. I didn't cut it. That's factory. No, this was what was left off of where you cut that sheet up there. Yeah. And slid oh. Right in. I freestyled that. <laughs> well, I thought it was a straight cut. Yeah, so. I just freestyled it. So I cut to the. What I did is I cut here. That's fine. To give me an extra quarter yeah, yeah, yeah. to get no, back. That's fine. Get it back there. No, nah, that was a freestyle. I'm like, why as you were lining that up? I'm like, why is this running away? Our freestyle was a pretty straight. It wasn't bad. Yeah, he was within an eighth of the bin. I know that saved us there. You had to pull the piece off.
this way. What are you looking for? Pliers. Can you see that? You need pliers? Yeah, those over there on the ground. These big ones. All right, guys, here we are. Wow, sweet. Look at that, guys. That whole big, huge, ginormous five foot lid is in place. Good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Sorry, let me get this. Reinstituting the double rig. And then he's cutting out the pedestal mount. Nate's getting the last seam here. There are six hatches back here. Mm -hmm. Quite a few. Wait, that hole's off? That's messed up. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. Thank you for trying. <laughs> My dogs are lovely. Cujo, you mean? Are they barking at you? They were earlier. Oh, they're barking at Preston. What's going on? No, we did not. All right, Matt, we did not cut the holes for the latches yet. Um, crappy Kev, how hard is it to? The turf glue is pretty serious. It does not like to move once it's once it's out there. That's the truth. Um, so, so it's like I don't know xylene. I just heard some other stuff that removes adhesive. Would you say citrus spray or something? Not for part. Not for part. How about for turf? If somebody wanted to take this turf off after a few years, what would be oh, the best thing to get the adhesive pain. off of? Huh? It's, it, it's got to be a terrible pain, yeah. It's, it's horrible. Turf adhesive is pretty serious to take it's off. It's made to go on, not come off. That's 100% true. Would you? What we ran into is take an oscillating tool and cut the turf from the adhesive. Yeah. And then xylene. Yep, xylene. And acetone. It's a pain. Yeah, it's it's a horrible process to actually recarpet or returf a boat, which is why it's so expensive. It's almost more expensive than just. Oh no. So we're gonna try to show you guys how to build it from scratch. That way, it's kind of just prep for turf. How about wetlands camo? I don't. Know what wetlands camo is that a color of ours? He's probably asking More colors soon. Yeah. No, we we um we were actually trying to make a different TBN camo color. We're trying to get a lot of our house brand colors in. Uh, we might have a third color coming out soon. You guys made our other. Yeah, actually, I think we ordered it. Um, our uh, our TBN camo colors are probably the newest thing that HydroTurf has released. So we're pretty happy to have our own custom colors. Pull that down. Dude, you guys, you guys did this all in two pieces. Yeah. Dang. That's pretty 
How many pieces did you use on Nick's boat? They were not as big as the Hydro Turk pieces. That's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. And Nick's boat is bigger. Nick's boat is an 18 foot boat. I'm just messing with nah. you. And that was my first turf job. Sure, it was horrendous. It was all right. It's all right. I could do things better. Carpet. I'm putting that. Can you get that thing, please? Yeah. Oh, rig fell. So you're working that out with the putty knife or a painter's tool to help you kind of, kind of either it helps shrink the turf or bunch the turf into a spot. He did lose me all those tough parts. You're the one bragging over being a turf master and yeah, shit. You're over here on. just talking the way. <laughs> <laughs> all hell King Nate. There ain't no editing out nothing. This is a live, which is why I'm still getting made a fun of today for last turf job. <laughs> so that's how that's going. Lives are fun. Desert camo looks pretty good. Cobblestone works pretty good. We're gonna get an urban camo color, which is like just dark and light shades of gray. Like snow cam without the snow, pretty much, <laughs> is what we're doing. Get rid of that that white that gets dirty so fast. It's gonna look pretty good. Hey man, we're gonna do some young Dolph camo. Yes. Young Dolph? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's a rapper. Oh. Sweet. We're actually going to see deck one at some point. Sweet. It's good to go. I think this will sell a lot. This will be good. For a freehand pass, I need two shit. Nope. Nope, it's not. You could template this, would it be exhausting? I'm not really sure the results would be much better. We just always try to tell people to kind of freehand it, feel for the grooves, and cut through. Yeah, I've templated a lot because I'm definitely, I'm not on Nate's level with the edges, nor do I want to try to be. You are here just scared. I'm definitely scared. Scared of what happens when I lose control? I mean, it's one, it's one thing tracing a lid or a hinge. It's a whole other thing getting up against that edge. It, it has a whole different feel. Hmm. Oh. Hey, are you using that drink? Oh, yeah, that's mine. Is that mine? Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> um, Let's bunch it in there. Pack it in there. Yeah. Yeah, just there it is. Figure out what I need to take off. Just the littlest bit, little eighth inch, sixteenth inch. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he looks good. Heck yeah. There's the back. It's done, gentlemen and ladies and whoever else is here in the live. The, Did you know you ain't got no ladies on there? the back is done. <laughs> you don't know my audience like I do. Shit. They're probably the same audience. Very close to it. All right. All right.
What do you guys think? Pretty good? Spray paint might eat the turf. Uh, what? I don't, I don't think that's a thing. What's the problem? You said spray paint might eat the turf. I don't think spray paint eats turf. No. It turf is, stain it. Yeah. Turf is pretty resilient. I've got overspray on turf. It didn't do nothing to it. It just took it right off. You can put acetone on turf. Yeah. It won't melt. You can, I, I, whenever I, I like hand route my stuff and I trace, I trace with a pen and I don't like the line and I got to get rid of that line. I use denatured alcohol. I've used rubbing regular al alcohol and I think at some points I've used acetone to get stains off. Yeah. And it doesn't melt nothing. I've got grease off of it. Yeah. Acetone. It's real important that you don't want grease on there. So it's a pretty big deal. You all right? <laughs> you, you okay? Yeah. All right. Gotta get another sheet. Let's go. All right. Bows. This looks pretty good. I'm going to have to fish off this for a while. Just make sure that it's extra good until we figure out what to do with it. Huh? You guys like these these state of the art wood panels here? Those are awesome. You're totally gonna keep those. You wanna do the honors, A Dad? Let's make it a little small. Let's make it a little small. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Hold that right there. I'm giving this a little bit. Hold it right there. Just hold the turf. Hold it. <laughs> I'm just looking at it. You got more of this? Yes. See right now. <laughs> What's wrong? It just looks a little bit different color than what I'm seeing. Well, flip it once. They can't. No, there's no way. some way what the freak I don't no know, from my view that looks different now that stand is up. different the, is the shadow is gone the here. shadow is gone you can see the line i think you're seeing that let me face the light get the light face it to me it's it's no bring it over here don't take it off because no. then we can't see the no, turtle stand up here what's Bring it over here, bro. Face it straight down. No, I don't. I don't disagree. Is it something? Because when when I looked at it from this angle, I could see something. But when you flipped it, it was ten times worse. Yeah. All right, flip it. Go, but slide it back over. Go up, burn like two or three lines. I'm just gonna cut the worst of this off. Good. I'm gonna cut on it. There you go. So much of a lot of what you use in the turf is not gonna be unusable. It's gonna be unusable pieces like that. Or maybe if you have a little spot in your compartments or something, you can, you, you can reuse it. But, um. It's bad to trim up. Have you used True Composites Pour Foam from Amazon? We use US Composites Pour Foam from our website, and we can we can back that. Uh, we do not back anything from Amazon. Amazon buys a lot of products like that in bulk and lets them sit for months, and they actually like go bad a lot. And so we stop recommending anything from Amazon that that is a chemical. We recommend you buy it directly from the distributor or from us, which is directly from the distributor. He's really happy in there. He wants something. 
He won. <laughs> what did he win? Fortnite. He won the first. He won one, and he like lost his mind. It was pretty funny. There's the piece. Oh, that looks good. That's that's the same route. Yep. Yep, sure is. What color is this? Does anybody know what it's called? Looks like gray, wood grain to me. It's called a uh, classic barn, weathered barn gray. That's what it is? No. Oh. <laughs> we tagged this, this tea cut groove in the live. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead and check out the... It definitely is teak, but it's like a gray, gray teak. We get rid of those big aluminum seat bases and put small seat bases, pedestal mounts, pretty much. Those big seat bases, I don't, I don't really. They're kind of for like northerner boats or pleasure boats. You need me to or, nah, I'm just, it just that uh, this piece it's just kind of broken. Crap in place. Look good. Yeah, waste a little bit there. Yeah, guys, when you're sponsored by Hydro Turf, <laughs> you just kind of do whatever you want. You know? Normally, I would tell you all just to not throw it away like that to get your pieces and put them back on the uh, the white tape there and save them because you most likely can use them in some scenario. Yeah, but uh, we're we, we're we tired turf, and we're we over this. Boat, yeah. We do all the big pieces for the deck. And take all your little pieces and you can seam them together and put them in the compartments. You sure can. Make all your compartments look great. Or if you're like me and you start saving every little scrap and putting it on white paper, you end up with about 500 of them in a pile and then you just start throwing everything away one day. <laughs> <laughs> Very revealing, this live. But you got an honest answer. Back garage mm -hmm. secrets. Yeah, dude, there was a time when we first started turfing boats that this stuff was like gold. And I remember Ryan had some left over from some builds, and I was like, what, y'all are just throwing that away? What, what? Dude, got so much of this crap in my shop. <laughs> like, it's just... We save, we save chunks that are like two yeah. foot by two foot. After that, they just go in the garbage. We turf so many boats. What are, what are those autism awareness stuff? I'm gonna do a boat like that one day out of all the different scraps of turf. You know what I'm talking about? I don't, but. They do like the puzzle pieces. Uh, okay. You're gonna turf a boat like that? Yeah, with all the freaking scraps I got. It probably would look good. 
know? That'd be unique, man. I would like, I would, I would want to see it now. Don't talk about it, be about it. Okay. <laughs> you gotta do it now. Yeah. All right. Kind Boat Nation can sponsor the project. Get right here. Uh oh. Hey guys, hit the like button. Or L Turf Job. Oh, guys, I got a thing for you here. Check this out. <laughs> Pedal trays that Nate made just for this boat. Because the one I have for this boat, I robbed to put in another boat. There it is. There's our standard pedal trays, and the but like the premium ones are nicer. <laughs> the the dual caddies and tool holders up in the front are just they're they're king. They really are nice. Hey. Lexi took Angela on a hike. Where? They're like on Newport. With bikes? I think they're on foot. For what? I don't know. That's very strange. Okay. All right. That's far. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little weird. What happened? I guess Angie and Alexia went hiking. Hike? I don't know. I don't. I don't really. In this economy. Hike hiking in this economy. <laughs> yeah. That's right, guys. I'm putting my finger on this to take credit for the whole thing at the last minute. It need a little bit more trim now. Now you can see where the lid is. That's the edge. Angled hatches with straight lines. What do I think about these angled hatches with with the straight lines? Um, I don't think much of it. <laughs> he could have picked a different color. It was free. If it was here, Matt, you know how I roll. And when stuff like this happens, I would have I would have self routed all this. And we all know, like honestly, if we're being real. Who the real turf master here is? I'll see. I'm done. I'm saying you. my work speaks for itself. I want to see you get in there with a the router. Never gonna happen. Yeah, well, that's that's because a, you can never not. be you can never be a turf master if you rely on machines. It's all you're talking about this freehand bullshit. Here, the, rea the no. reality of it free, is free. The reality is I'll hey. school you all three of you. I'll school the whole three crew. People a week pay me to turf their boat. They don't pay me to hand route all kinds of crazy shit in it. Yeah, that's the reality. Well, the reality is I'm so good I don't have to build boats for myself. Well, what do you got to say about that? I got to build boats for nobody else. Got. I will take the money that they pay me and I will do the job I'm paid for. I'm not going to spend 20 hours routing all kinds of shit in it and I don't get paid for it. This, this is why we can't build boats together for too long. Fights start breaking out. It's the he, only dude I know that has other guys turf his whole boat and then at the very end, he's the turf god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, dude, you good. remind me of some other boat builder I know. <laughs> oh, no. All right, I'll be quiet. You guys win. <laughs> okay. No, no, honestly, these straight lines, it's all about you, Matt, um, however you like them. I don't care. Personally, I think it looks all right. Ain't nothing you can do about it. It matters more if the lines are straight and the turf's butted up correctly. You have this odd little clip here, these little points. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It just depends on the individual. I think these guys did a fantastic stand-up job on it. And considering this boat was never meant for turf, turf didn't even exist during the time this boat was built. For us to retrofit it like this so it looks this good, I think um, it's a pretty good stretch. I personally think it looks it, look, it looks great. It does. <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could go back and route the edges inside and outside of the hatch to make it pop out a little bit more, but that's just a whole lot of extra work. 
for not that from for, the guy for that not, just said he hated routes look i'm trying course. to give you guys credit now and you're messing it up here just just be quiet <laughs> it's all good you guys we truly are like brothers <laughs> All right, all right. What's the what's the what's the comment? Yeah. They say it looks extra clean considering what they watched. But I don't get what that means. But oh, they said oh, they were we're joking. I think the live's running like two minutes behind, so they're just seeing us. They're just seeing our little spat. Oh. Yeah, they're just seeing it. Our little spat. You got light there? Let me get out of your light. Can't find a fucking. Lid. All right. I mean, I can't find the lid. <laughs> it's there. I see it. I know, dude, the angle is like really. I'm joking. It's giving me an optical illusion right here. here. Dang, you're almost out of blades too. Oh, no, here, dude. check these out. These are brand new. Uh, those are just sitting up there the whole time. Coming at you. He's going to cut your kneecap off. Oh, yeah. You come at me, big boy. There we go. Daddy Nate will handle it. That's why, dude. I was like, there's no way that gap is that big. Just the weird angle that that lens had. I wasn't trying to give you any. You know, you weren't trying to touch my butt. I was not trying. It just happened. The stick and go technique is interesting. I'd be doing templates. Yeah, templates are a waste of time for turf. Like this, I think. Anthony likes templates. I like. I like. I said that on purpose. <laughs> No, that plates are good. And I think these boats look extremely clean, though. He's known for yeah, his yeah, he's known for his precision. I also don't turf a whole boat in two hours either. So you know, there's that value proposition of how much time are you going to put into it? How perfect do you want it? And what are you actually getting paid to do? Right. And as of late, my guys don't want to pay a whole lot, despite a year wait list and five thousand people in my freaking DMs. We're going up to one twenty five an hour for fab. Just because I work out of my garage doesn't mean I don't have talent. This is true. All right. Let it all out, man. Just... All right, gentlemen. Obviously, we're not going to turf. I will turf the subfloor. Uh, we have a little bit left over here. Um, that subfloor is definitely unworthy of being turfed. If you can look at it, it's not, not prepped at all. It's got a bunch of nonsense and leftover carpet and glue on there. That will take a little bit of work to go down there, and I got to get in a suit and a respirator to get down there and get all that. But that wasn't going to be happening today. But what did happen was we got the lids on. We got all this finished. These are the live wall lids. Ugh, pull them up. Look how clean these lids came out. Look how clean they are. I mean, we durlard over them. Let's talk a little bit about the process. You could go get, you could go get graphics durlard this stuff. What are you laughing at? What? Uh-huh. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. What are you laughing at? I just keep going. You're live, man. Yeah, but you laugh. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I was laughing because he was laughing. But why is he laughing? <laughs> just, just you doing your thing. You just had a little breakdown live. That's all right. That's no, I'm all good. <laughs> No, I'm hey, good. hey, that's my, all right. That's all right. My therapist says I just need to let it all out. Yeah. You know? Your therapist is, uh, is, we talked about that. Here. Yeah. I'm joking. Here. Let's talk. Here we go. <laughs> this stuff here. This stuff here. Let's just talk about this stuff. This is, this is graphic. It's called this. Look. Watch. Look. <laughs> Duralar. <laughs> <laughs> this is graphics Duralar. Thickness 0 0.003 millimeter. 40 by 25. This is a clear plastic film, and that's the stuff I used to template this entire deck. You laid it right across, took a, a meter stick, 
traced it with a Sharpie the, on the exact line, right? Because we talked about the accuracy of the lines. So I took out each hatch. And if you really want to do it, you can template the whole deck if you want, if you want like a custom template. But, but they can, um, they have a scanner and they can scan, they scanned all these lids from the template I gave them. And they could have also scanned all the deck and gave me a custom turf job, but we thought it was too risky. Like, actually, I thought it was too risky. They said, that, they said, do I was like, no, let's just do, let's just do something a little bit more mainstream that anybody can do. Um, and so now we got this. And when I mean tracing, you see this, te this template here. See all that? That's all lines. It's all bundled up because it wasn't a tube. And uh, that's actually a template for a base plate for a light skiff. You can make templates for anything. I use that to template most all my hatches. And that's how we templated um, the deck to get this done. And now we have hatches everywhere. We just got to clean up all this nonsense. So, a little bit of stuff here. We have some specialists in our in our network that, that deal specifically with glass boat repair and, and fab. And we'll be talking to them more about what to do here, but I can't, I can't tell you how glad I am that I didn't have to do this deck. I had to treat these guys to something special. Hey guys, thank you so much. And you got anything else you want to say to the crew before we hang this live up? Because I'm sure my phone's about to die. Nate. Nope, if they have any questions, tell them to ask. You have any questions for Nate? It's not very often I'm on here. Probably never again, let's be honest. Sure. I don't know, I've been here two years in a row. What do you guys do? your dirty uh, work. What do I got to say? Uh, yeah. If you guys go to timeboatnation.net, use that code brigade at checkout, see 5% off your entire order. So if you're ordering turf, go ahead and use that code because that's how I make money on commissions because we know Mike ain't paying me. <laughs> Pretend that this is an edited video and edit that out. It's not, it's not true. It's not, it's not, it's not true. All right. All right. I think that we should probably end the live on that, right? <laughs> you guys, it's been like this for a week. All right, gentlemen. Anthony I'm Jones. Just, I'm just playing. Mike's been a great host. Subscribe. Yeah. He, he put me on some uh, some three pound some red red gill. What are I they? Ready or ready? We also play for his. I did. We also pay for his plane ticket and his rental car and his guide tour. <laughs> <laughs> and and like other things. So yeah, don't let this guy fool. You. Anyways, check out Anthony Jones from Brigade Boats on YouTube and Instagram and on TikTok. He's got some viral videos all over the place. Um, Nate thinks he's too good to do social media. But if you want to check him out, he's TV Nation Outdoors Midwest on both TikTok and Instagram. And Facebook. And Facebook. Um, yeah. So there's that, guys. All right. I'll check you guys later. We will see you on the next live. In the next live, I will be reviewing um, the tracker reskin that we just did. Um, these guys tested it out. They, were, they simulated um, the rental boat. And they let me know how what, what they thought of it. So... Oh, we'll be doing a video. Anthony, actually, you're going to be releasing a video on that. Did you record a lot on that? Not at all. Oh. <laughs> so We just fished. The you just fished? Okay. Fish. But the boat ran great, man. I like that little boat. All right. Like 30 mile an hour, 32, something yeah, like that. We, we were, were getting it. We were passing the poon tunes. Yeah. <laughs> and we were learning the late Havasu. Hey, hey, should we tell them the secret? No, nah, we're not going to tell them the secret how to. No. Nah. nah. All right. All right, gentlemen, that's. That's, I think that's, we're going to end it on there. All right, see you later.